The tunnel ventilation design worksheet provides an estimate of the required tunnel fan capacity based on a poultry house's overall design, construction, insulation levels, bird size, and density to obtain no more than a 5 degree temperature difference as well as the tunnel fan capacity required to produce a targeted airspeed of whatever the user wants to input. So let's look at an example. We go ahead and click on that. First thing we have to put in the type of ceiling. Is it an open ceiling or is it a drop ceiling? And the level of insulation, whether it's an open or drop ceiling. So let's say we have a drop ceiling with a high level of insulation. Next, we're going to describe the sidewall. Is it totally enclosed? Is the whole sidewall just a curtain? Or is about half the, the sidewall a curtain? So let's just go totally enclosed. We're going to put our bird density, pounds per square foot. It ranges between 4 and 9 pounds per square foot. Let's go ahead and say it's a fairly high density house at 8 pounds per square foot. Now we're going to put in the type of bird. Is it a broiler, pullet, breeder, or turkey? And for broiler, we have basically three choices, four, six, and eight. Put the, in the one that's closest to what you're going to be growing. So let's go ahead and say like eight pound broiler. We're going to put in the house length. Let's say it's a 500 foot house. Let's say it's 50 feet wide. The side wall is eight foot. The peak height is 12. And we feel that we need a minimum air speed of let's say 750 feet per minute. Done. We're going to hit submit. Now it has calculated two different tunnel fan capacities. The first is the amount of tunnel fan capacity required to assure no more than a 5 degree temperature rise. And in this case, that's about 217,500 CFM. The second tunnel fan capacity is that required to produce the targeted airspeed of in this case 750 feet per minute which is whichever the biggest of those two is that's what we have to use so the recommended tunnel fan capacity to promote proper house temperature uniformity no more than a five degree temperature rise and to produce an airspeed of 750 feet per minute is 375,000 cfm and the calculator provides a estimated operating static pressure of a roughly 0.19 we can go back, we can change it to a four pound bird, and we're gonna do six pounds per square foot, and we're gonna change our target velocity to 600 feet per minute. Oops, let's change that back. 600, done, submit. And now, for house temperature uniformity, we need 202,000 CFM. For the, to obtain the desired velocity of 600 feet per minute, we need 300,000 CFM. Of course, we're going to use the biggest of the two, so we sure we meet both criteria. And the recommended tunnel fan capacity is 300,000 CFM. And the approximate operating static pressure with all fans operating will be about a 0.14. Now keep in mind the calculator is just providing a general estimate if you have a specific case or you want to look in this more detail, please feel free to contact us. We hope you enjoy this calculator.